Well, there goes another game that we should have won. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Phillies Hot Sale Videocast, and today we're going to be recapping uh, the first game of the doubleheader uh, against the Toronto Blue Jays as the Phillies lost 3-2 against the Toronto Blue Jays as they dropped the first game of the doubleheader, um, and uh, they blow yet again another lead. They were up 2-0, and they ended up losing 3-2 as uh, we got walked off in the bottom of the seventh inning. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say a few things before I get into this video. Um, I apologize for the background noise. Um, I'm doing my first video ever outside. I'm obviously here at a resort, so um, that's why if you do hear a lot of noise, a lot of talking, or um, you know some background noise or anything like that, I apologize about that. Uh, but anyway, um, and also please subscribe if you have not yet. Please turn the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. Um, we did get to see some highlights today. Bryce Harper hit his sixth home run of the season, two left field in the bottom of the first inning. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon is red hot, and he is really heating up. He's starting to look a lot healthier and a lot better. Uh, he was really, really struggling. Uh, Bryce Harper, the first Phillies player to homer in a major league game at Bu in Buffalo the f since July 14th, 1885. So... It's been quite some time since we have seen a Phillies player, Homer, at in Buffalo uh, in a Major League Baseball game. Uh, and I believe his name was Roger Clemtons or something like that. So, yeah, guys, it's been quite some time, and uh, we finally get to, got to see it today uh, from Bryce Harper. As There's history at, uh, at, in Buffalo today, which is really, really cool. Um, so, uh, Jose Alvarez, we'll talk about him a little bit later. Spencer Howard took the mound. Uh, so, we got some few things we got to talk about, but... Uh, it's weird to be playing the Toronto Blue Jays in Buffalo. It's very, very strange. Um, uh, but, you know, we're playing a doubleheader, so we'll see what's uh, going to happen in the second game. The second game's already underway. I do not want to give any hints about what's going on, but I do like what I'm seeing out of the Phillies in the second game, but that's all I'm going to say. Uh, as we pick up the scoring ceremony in the top of the first inning, actually, I think at the beginning I said Bryce Harper home in the bottom of the first inning. Obviously, we're the road team, so why would we, why would we be batting in the top, uh, bottom of the first inning? Obviously, I messed up on that, obviously. Top of the first inning. I don't know why I said bottom of the first inning because I think we were, we were the home team for so long, so I was so used to saying bottom of the first bottom of the inning when we scored. Um, so now we're on this long road trip, so it's going to take some getting used to. Top of the first inning, Bryce Harper. It's a sixth time on the season, two left field. Um... Yeah, he's seen the ball well. I mean, he's uh, not doing as well as he – he's not – this road trip hasn't been as – not as hot. I mean, obviously got two hits uh, the first game in Boston, the first of two games in Boston, went two for five, and then he went, goes 0 for three yesterday. Uh, goes one for three today. Um, like he's not sending a world on fire. You know, he, I, mean, he's, I know he hit two home runs, um, you know, these past two series. He's, you know, he's getting a lot of contact. He's not really striking out much. His strikeout rate has gone down a lot since last year. So that's really, really nice to see. Uh, but he's not really, you know, not doing as well. But, you know, he's still having a fantastic season. So one nothing Phillies. S top of the third inning, Andrew McCutcheon singles on a line drive to center field. Uh, DiBiggio and uh, Roman Quinn comes around to score. And it is now a 2 nothing Phillies lead. Um, so we were playing pretty good baseball. Uh, first couple innings, Spencer Howard was pitching pretty well. Uh, you know, and then we got in the bottom of the fourth inning. This is when things got a little bit shaky. Um, Espinal uh, hits a sacrifice fly to right field. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. scores, and it is now a 2-1 to -one ball game. So uh, the Blue Jays are on the board. Then we jump ahead, bottom of the sixth inning. Uh, Kevin Biggio doubles to right field, his fourth of the season. Uh, McKinney comes around to score. And the Blue Jays tie it up at two. Um, so uh, the Blue Jays tied it up, and then in the bottom of the seventh inning, we blow it as uh, Luis Goriel Jr. singles on a ground ball to left field, and Teoscar Hernandez comes around to score, and the Blue Jays win it, three to two. Your final score. So the Phillies not do not play well against the Toronto Blue Jays. They never have uh, in recent years. I do not understand why. Uh, the Blue Jays do have a good young team, um, but uh, they're not a very good team, and we're not a very good team either. So uh, I'm not really that surprised. Um, not really surprised. Andrew McCutcheon went two for five or two for four, excuse me. One RBI. Obviously hit that RBI single. He's swinging a lot. He's swinging a lot, lot better bat. Um, he's doing a lot better. Struck out twice today. He is striking out a lot, um, which isn't a huge deal. He's not walking nearly as much as he was last year. His, his, his walk rate is a lot. 
it's 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 not good. It's not as nearly nearly as good as it was last year. He's not walking anywhere near the amount he was last year. Uh, so it's a lot different than last year. Reese Hoskins, 0 for 2, 1 walk, 2 strikeouts. I mean, this is like, you know, so do people regret saying, oh, he's out of the slump. Here he's back. The big fell's back. He goes, hits one home run out of the ballpark, and all of a sudden he's back. I never said that, but I'm just quoting some of the people that said it. So there you go, Phillies fans who somehow thought the Reese Hoskins was out of this slump. He's not. He's still batting 200. He's our 200 bat, uh, hitting first baseman is what he is. And uh, he's not playing really any better. So... That's all I'm going to say, um, but I'm tired of people saying he's out of it, he's out of it, he's out of it. I talked about that last year when he hit that home run in Miami in August. People saying he's out of it. I'm like, just because he hit one home run doesn't mean he's out of it. I need consistent success, and then I'm going to say he's out of it. Bryce Harper, one for three, one run scored, one RBI on the day. Uh, obviously with that solo home run, didn't do anything after that. JT Ramuto, he's really cooled off. Uh, 0 for 3 today, got the start behind the plate, uh, struck out once. He's batting now 264. He's still the best catcher in baseball. He's just cooled off a little bit, and I didn't really expect him to continue that pace. Gene Segura, 1 for 3, 1 strikeout. Didi Gregorius went 1 for 2 today. Uh, Phil Gosselin, 0 for 3. Alec Bowen, 0 for 3. Struck out three times today. Um, you know, Couldn't catch up to that 98-mile-an-hour heater, um, so that kind of sucks for him. Roman Quinn. Uh, one for three today, one run scored. Uh, obviously scored on that Andrew McCutcheon ribby single and uh, struck out twice as well. So, guys, that's your box score for today's ball game for the Phillies. Uh, as we jump ahead, let's look at uh, Spencer Howard in three and two thirds, five hits, one run, two uh, walks, and five strikeouts on the day. He looked a lot better than his previous two starts. Obviously made his major league debut against the Atlanta Braves, got totally lit up by the Atlanta Braves. Um, so, you know, he struggled against against his last start with the Mets, against the Mets, uh, struggled then, and this time he was a lot better. Only went three and two-thirds, but five hits, one and run, two walks and five strikeouts in three and two-thirds inning work. A lot better, a lot better. Um, Parker, one, in, one inning, one hit, one walk, one strikeout. He's been very, very good this year. As I talked about, he's been a workhorse. Jose Alvarez, a third of an inning. Man, uh, took a 100-mile-an-hour come back come back off the groin oof man that really really looked bad um man I, he's hurt i mean he's gotta be he's probably gonna go on the il he's one of our top relievers you know our bullpen is really really struggling we do not have a good bullpen it's not like we have all these guys on the injured list i know we have dave robertson on the injured list i know we have um you know Anthony dominguez on the injured list obviously he's, he might not even be back next year i'm so tired of waiting on him even with those guys, we're still not a very good bullpen. I'm just going to say that uh, it'd be a lot better, but it still wouldn't be. It still wouldn't be, in my opinion, enough to really be competitive. In my opinion, um, so that's really an already struggling bullpen. You got this blow. This is a very big blow for the Phillies bullpen. Losing Jose Alvarez, he's been arguably one of the best relief pitchers for us this year. Uh, probably the best. Him and Parker have been very, very good for us. So this is not good. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, so hopefully he's hopefully it's not that bad. Tommy Hunter, an inning, two hits, one and run. Um, just, he's just he's just not that good, man. I mean I, that's all it is to it. I've talked about it earlier. Uh, he's getting old. He's just he's just really not that good. It, it's uh, it, this comes down to that. He's just I don't really expect much out of him. He's old. He's just he's kind of getting washed and. He's just, he's just not that good. I'm not, I'm not really going to expect much out of him. I mean, I hope he does well. He's on my team. He's had a nice career with, you know, bouncing around. I believe he was in Baltimore, all these other teams. So uh, he's just nearly not that good anymore. That's just a simple reality. Guara blew the game for us. He pitches the third of an inning, three hits, one run. The run was not earned. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, we lose this baseball game as uh, Guara does get the loss. Uh, but we lose this baseball game. So very, very, very frustrating. Um, just, I, I don't understand. I, I just I, I just don't understand how we lose to a team like the Toronto Blue Jays, but I'm really not that surprised. So, yeah, the Phillies dropped the first game of the series, of this doubleheader, excuse me, um, as they are obviously, as I said, playing the second game of the doubleheader. But, guys, not a good first game at all. Uh, we now dropped to 9-11. and 11. Um, Try to win the second game. We're probably going to win. I'm not going to give the score. not going to give any information about it. Uh, all I said, all I'm going to say is that we have played a very, very nice game so far in the second game, uh, but we have to see what's going to happen. So, guys, that's pretty much it with this video. I mean, not really much else to talk about. Um, just, I'm, I hope you enjoyed this. This is the first video I've ever done outside, ever. So, 
I uh, hope you enjoy this. I don't know when I'm ever going to do this again. Probably, I'll probably do it again on this trip. I leave on Sunday, so uh, this last time I'll be traveling for a little while, so uh, probably going to be home for, for a while when I get back. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please turn on the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Please check out the social media link in the description section. Uh, at Philly's Hot Stuff Instagram, at Hartford Axe Instagram. Thank you guys so much for 2,000 followers on Philly's Hot Stuff. Thank you guys so much. Um, when that shutdown happened, obviously you halted it a lot. I was planning on hitting that back in June, but I was going to. But nevertheless, I have hit the number, but I hope to maybe hit 3,000 by the end of this year. So hopefully I can do that. Call or text 267-225-3392. Email me, philliesotstuff at gmail.com. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Luke, and I will talk to you all later. Let's go, Phillies. They are currently playing the, double, the second game of the doubleheader. See you guys later. Bye.